Hey Michael, welcome back to Cascade Customs and Design. Uh, thank you so much for choosing us to handle all your paint needs on your RV project. We really appreciate it and we love RVs. So it was a great fit, I think, for both of us. Um, before we uh, jump into showing you the final product, we want to run through all the steps and processes we used throughout the whole entire job uh, to get that final finish that uh, you're going to love. So I know when, uh, when you arrived, one of your questions was how we tackle uh, fiberglass parts. So um, next to me right here, we got some fiberglass pieces. So I was going to kind of walk you through exactly what we did to get to where we are and where you know it's going to end up. So um, when they arrived, they were um, raw factory stuff, or maybe you had them in primer. I can't remember exactly. But um, anyway, from wherever we received them, we go through, put them together, check the gaps, uh, make sure they're all nice, even, um, and crisp lines. From there, we'll check pinholes and you know divots and dings and whatever else we find and try to clean it all up. Um, we then use uh, an aerospace grade um, epoxy primer. It's a high build. So everything will get sprayed with that, um, which is this lovely tan color you see in front of us. Um, once things are all primed up, we go through and put on this purple stuff, which is our guide coat. Um, this will kind of, if you think about it, it, soaks into all like the low spots and stuff like that so we can see extra pinholes or voids and stuff that we missed. Um, as well as as we sand it, if there's some really bad bodywork stuff, it shows up because you know it'll say purple in the, the low spots and sand off in the high spots. So we go to primer, we clean it up the best we can that we can see, we make a purple, we sand it again, and then that'll expose anything else. We clean all that up and then it's the final quick prep for paint. So everything is finished off in like a 320 red scotch bright grit. And then we uh, send it off to the, the paint side to get cleaned up and um, set up and sprayed. All right, so parts are in the booth. Um, we went through, got them all prepped, uh, masked off. You can see the green tape, which protects everything um, wherever we need it. And then we blow everything off really good to get any dust off the surface. And the next step is just wiping um, all the parts of the wax and grease. So we have two different cleaners we use. Um, one is a solvent-based wax and grease, and that really helps get off wax and grease, nasty stuff. The other one we have is a water-based cleaner, and that one's more designed for like fingerprints and, and, and sweat and all that kind of stuff that just happens again on the thing. So with those two products together, we can get the surface nice and squeaky clean before the paint's applied. Hey Michael, uh, welcome to the shop. Um, so we finally got the plane all ready um, and we're in the paint process right now. So um, you've probably seen some images of when it was all in just raw aluminum and prepped out and ready to go. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps um, of what we've done, where we're at and where we're going so that you have a kind of an idea of the whole paint process. So um, from raw aluminum, we went through and, and cleaned it with um, an aluminum cleaner, brightener, all this kind of stuff, it's called Metaflex. Um, it's a water-based product, uh, and really it's just a wipe it on, wipe it off kind of thing. So once that uh, Metaflex product's been wiped on, we have a special um, non-chromated etch primer that we use called 2111. Um, it chemically gets along with that stuff and the aluminum, and that's what creates your etch bond. Uh, once that 2111 is um, set on the surface for about an hour and a half, two hours, depending on temp and humidity and all that fun stuff, um, then we can go into our paint product. So. The first paint we apply is a tinted uh, primer sealer. This kind of locks everything out from you know, that layer and underneath so things can't leach back through or have any transfer issues. It also helps with adhesion and just makes a better bond for the whole paint process. Um, let's see, once that um, color build is on there, then we jump into all the colors. So as you can see, the first color we are selecting to go with um, based on your paint scheme is silver. So the silver's on here. We're gonna then put the whole plane together and start laying in all the vinyl graphics um, and masking. And then we're gonna jump into the red, cover that all up, and then we're gonna jump into the white. Once all those colors are on there, 
We're gonna go through and unmask everything, check, detail, clean up any of the lines or maybe any little blowouts here and there. And then the plane's ready to clear coat and make all shiny and pretty for you. So behind me is uh, the fully painted aircraft. Um, it is cleared and half assembled. Nate's working on finishing up those last bits and pieces. We have the rudder corrected on the checkerboard and removing the uh, silver stripe. So the last little bits for us is the final cut and buff, uh, the window treatments, and then whatever other stuff we maybe have to do a little tweaking on uh, before we deliver it over to you. Oh yeah, and the wing walk. We got the wing walk to do too. Better not forget that one. Thanks again for, uh, for choosing us and working with us on, uh, on your beautiful airplane. Um, this red is amazing and I've already had three other customers ask for it, so good choice. <laughs>
time with me You'll leave and let me be You don't need me Yeah It's so amazing It's so amazing how some people change Okay this will be the first landing. Hopefully it's a smooth one. Okay, hope all the landings are like that. It's nice and smooth. It's so amazing, yeah, 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 yeah. Everything's over and over, yeah. It's so it's so amazing It's so amazing It's so It's so amazing.